Hello, beautiful humans. Sounds so weird when I say that. I'll leave that job to writers. I'm Dave, writer's magical video editor with a short heads up. The video you're about to watch was made before TGA announced that the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie trailer would be appearing at the Game Awards. With that being said, grab yourself a Krabby Patty, some water, and enjoy the video. Well, 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 looks like Psycho Chum is going to be making an appearance at the Game Awards this Thursday. But what exactly is going to happen there? Let's discuss all the possibilities right now. <laughs> Hello dear beautiful human, my name is Ryder CX and welcome to my channel where today we've got some pretty exciting Sonic news to talk about because you know what, it's the end of the year but they just had to post something right before the holidays came so it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog has um, invited himself to the Game Awards via Twitter and he very much got a ticket from Jeff Keighley himself and so this tells me that there's something that's going to be going on the Game Awards involving Sonic which is really exciting because I honestly didn't think we were going to get anything from Sonic for the rest of the year besides maybe the side movie trailer but it looks like there's something that's going to be cooking over there so there's so many possibilities as to what they could be but i'm here to talk about all the possibilities that i could come up with and what i think is the most likely option right here and so let's sit back and just well get excited about some award shows because yeah the game awards are becoming a bigger deal every single year and if they have some major side news coming up over there then it's gonna be a pretty big deal for me personally this year i've never really tuned into the game awards to be honest but i might just have to for this so let's go ahead and discuss it so the first thing I'm going to mention, which I basically mentioned before actually, is the possibility of the Sonic Movie 2 trailer. And so, the Sonic Movie 2 is coming out in April, so we're four months away from it, and it's very odd actually that we don't have a trailer for the movie yet. A lot of people were expecting the trailer to come out during Thanksgiving actually, but nothing came, and yeah, we're still waiting for the trailer. We do have some information about the fact that Knuckles is going to be in it, who it's being voiced by, but there's not really much else in terms of major revelations, and so that trailer has to come out at some point and what better way to premiere it than at the Game Awards stage themselves. There was some evidence that the trailer was coming soon as I recall reading this tweet that said that a video was uploaded to the Sonic Movie playlist and so that video on the Paramount YouTube channel may very well be the Sonic Movie 2 trailer because it's currently hidden as of now it could very well premiere at the Game Awards and so this one makes a lot of sense and I would not be surprised if this is what we're gonna get however it is just one of the many possibilities that I can think of so let's move on to the next one. The second thing that I think could be shown at the Game Awards is a review trailer for Sonic Origins. And so I feel like a lot of people have forgotten about Sonic Origins just because, you know, it is just a compilation title. So there's not really much to talk about in terms of it. I mean, we know what's going to be coming on the game and we know it's just going to be coming out in 2022. But technically, it's something that we've not got reviewed yet. And so it would be great to see Sonic 3 in action in terms of widescreen and such. It'd be really cool to just kind of make sure that, hey, the game still exists and what a release date might be because though it's a collection of games that we've gotten ported over and over again it's really cool to finally see Sonic 3 and Knuckles in particular finally be treated like this and so I think Sega finally worked out what was going on with the music rights and all that it's great to finally see Sonic 3 and Knuckles coming over to consoles and such so having all those games in the same package will be a great treat for half for lots of new Sonic fans in particular who haven't played the old games yet so it's very well possible to hear some news about Sonic Origins here the third thing that could be a possibility is Sonic Prime. Did y'all remember Sonic Prime? You know, that TV show that's going to be coming to Netflix next year. Yeah, so Sonic Prime is something that we really haven't heard too much about. I mean, the last time we heard anything was from Sonic Central, where they basically said it was in development. You know, nothing really interesting going on there. I did see some tweets that they were hiring people to come onto the studio that was working on it. But other than that, there's pretty much been absolutely nothing about Sonic Prime. So it's also possible that we could see some stuff on Sonic Prime. I mean, the show has to be pretty far in development at this point and it's only a matter of time before we get a trailer you know depending on whether they plan to release it in the first half of the year or the later half of the year i could kind of see them do either one they could do it at the beginning of half the year if they want to jump off the hype of the sonic movie or they could do it in the later half of the year if they want to jump off the hype of sonic frontiers depending on whether sonic frontiers comes out at that point or not that's kind of what i'm thinking it's going to come out at but i could be completely wrong and just we could be weeks away from sonic frontiers highly doubt that that's the case but it could be a thing and so sonic prime though i'd be 
really interested in learning more about it just because, you know, great, we have a Sonic movie coming out, but a Sonic TV show that's CGI animated that's going to focus on traveling to multiple universes, that sounds really interesting and we haven't really heard anything about it. So I just love to get some more details about it, you know, see maybe a quick clip from the show and all that. That would be such a treat, but um, who knows if we'll get anything for that or not. The next thing that I think could happen to Game Awards is a formal review of Sonic Frontiers. And so I think Sonic Frontiers at this point has just been this abstract idea that all of us can only imagine what it's going to be like. I mean, we saw that teaser trailer all the way back in June about it, and we've heard absolutely nothing about it since then. I mean, we even got Izuka saying that he probably reviewed it too early. And so it was clearly very early in development, and a lot of things have probably changed since June. So who knows what that game is going to consist of? I know that we basically think that's going to be be fully open world and all that but what does that even mean for a Sonic game like that's just such a crazy abstract idea for a Sonic game I have no idea what that's gonna entail I mean we've heard all these leaks and stuff but nothing concrete and all this stuff sounds really weird and so it would be a whole nother thing to see in action and I just think that premiering that at the Game Awards which is probably gonna get a lot of hype this year just because the audience for the Game Awards has been growing exponentially every year that would be a great way to kind of help Sonic make a big splash in the gaming industry again give him that big hype that he's been looking for ever since Sonic Forces came out. So it would be a good idea to premiere a Sonic Frontiers review at the Game Awards, but is the game even far enough in development to have that happen at this point? Because yeah, like I said, Izuka admitted that the game was reviewed too early in Sonic Central, but it is December now and the game is slated for a 2022 release, and so it may be the right time to finally show off some footage of it. So it could very well be a possibility here. I'd be really excited if that's so. I actually just made a video on 10 things I want to see in Sonic Frontiers, so go ahead and check out that video in the top right corner if you want to see that and discuss some things that you want to see in that game, or let me know in the comment section below, whatever you want to do. Those are the four main things that I predict could be happening at the Game Awards. I mean, it could also be something completely new, but considering we already have all these things that we don't know much about, I feel like Sonic Team and Sega would rather just talk about things that have already been announced rather than announce something completely different at the Game Awards when you already have all these projects going on. At the same time, there could also very well be nothing, but I think the fact that Sonic the Hedgehog's Twitter account made it a point to mention the Game Awards and the fact that Katie admitted that she would be attending the Game Awards, like that just doesn't seem like it's gonna be nothing you know it seems like something is gonna happen if it's gonna be something really stupid and ridiculous then you have every right to drag the Sonic Twitter because this is teasing to the max they're definitely insinuating something is gonna happen so in my honest opinion I really think that some kind of review is gonna happen to Game Awards because they're purposely getting people hyped up for it you know it's one thing for the fan base to just get hyped up by itself but it's a whole nother thing for the Twitter itself to hype up the fans so I really do think something is coming I don't think it's gonna be something completely new that we haven't heard of before, I think it will focus on one of those four things. Now, which of those things is most likely? So if you asked me before I made this video, I would say the Sonic movie because as I mentioned before, this is around the right time frame for the Sonic movie trailer to come out. In fact, it should have come out earlier to be honest so that it could have been shown in theaters actually during the whole Christmas movie rush. I mean, there's a lot of big titles coming out this Christmas and lots of people will be in the theaters. So it would be the perfect time to have a trailer for Sonic movie 2 play before these movies but we still don't have the trailer and we also know that there's a hidden video uploaded to the playlist of the Sonic movie on the Paramount YouTube channel so it very well could be that trailer being premiered here but now that I think about it I actually think there's a chance it's gonna be either Sonic Origins or Sonic Frontiers hopefully Sonic Frontiers the reason for that is Katie is gonna be attending that so for those of you who don't know Katie is official Sonic PR manager I think that's the title correct me if I'm wrong and if she's gonna be there it leads me to think it'll be something more video game related because why would she be there for a Sonic movie thing, you know? The promotional campaigns for the Sonic games and the Sonic movie have been pretty much separated for the first movie at least, so I don't see why that would be different for the second movie. So the fact that she's gonna be there and the fact that it's the official Sonic Twitter doing all this makes me think it's actually gonna be video game related, which is really exciting and I guess fitting because it is the Game Awards, so it should be something game related, but they also do a lot of stuff with video game movie adaptations, so it could have been a side movie thing very well but the fact that she's gonna be appearing there as you can see from this tweet it really just seems like it's gonna be a video game thing now whether it be a Sonic Origins thing or a Sonic Frontiers thing is a whole nother thing but I do think Sonic Frontiers is not completely out of the running and the reason for that is if y'all recall there was a news break earlier this week that the Sonic Frontiers website is officially up I mean if you go access it it's just gonna say 4D forbidden but it's not like it leads into like a black hole in the internet like it's a domain that's set up so 
So it tells me that it is going to be a website that's going to be up soon and it will show some info about Sonic Frontiers. So that's just even more evidence that something is coming in terms of this game, which is really exciting. That's definitely the one that I want the most just because it's such an abstract idea. Like I said, I really just want to see what the game is going to be like and what's going to be involved in it. And there is evidence pointing to the fact that we are going to get a Sonic Frontiers review, which is really, really cool. I'm really excited about that if that's the case. Now, if it's a Sonic Origins thing, then I wouldn't mind that as well. It'd be cool to see some Sonic Origins, just anything Sonic in general. I really don't think there's any hope of seeing Sonic Prime. I think that's something that's going to be slated for fall 2022. I could be wrong, but we've heard absolutely nothing about it. It seems like it's just going to be something that's going to be put to the end of the year since we got the Sonic movie in the beginning of the year. And we also got two games that need some info to be divulged before they're released, obviously. So I don't think it's going to be a Sonic Prime at all. But Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, I could totally picture a Sonic Frontiers thing coming up just because of some of the hints that we've gotten. It's not guaranteed, but it would be really cool if that was the case. But that's my prediction. So you know what? My final prediction is going to be a Sonic Frontiers review. I think we're going to get it. If I'm wrong, then that's okay because I feel like it's such a stretch. But at the same time, there is some positive evidence that points to it. So I want to be hopeful. I want to have high hopes. So let's hope that this Christmas wish comes true. Come on, Santa. You know you want to do it, but... <sighs> I'm going to just stop right there and let you all tell me what you think. What do you all think is going to be reviewed at the Video Game Awards? Let me know what it is and why you think it is that thing. Is it going to be the Sonic movie trailer? Is it going to be Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Origins, Sonic Prime? Maybe something completely different or maybe absolutely nothing at all. If you want to be the cynic of Christmas, go ahead. But yeah, this was a fun video and I can't wait to tune into the Game Awards and see what exactly is going on. I hope they don't leave it to the very end of the show. That would be so annoying, but I can totally see them doing that because because Jeff Keighley is definitely hyping it up on Twitter as well. So it very well could be something they're hoping drags in viewers like myself. So <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see what happens on Thursday. But all right, y'all. Thank you all so much. This is Riders Riding Out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Special shout out to my patrons, New Gamer Hub, Team Rattle Sign Gamer, Johnny Hinton Ortiz, Trash Q, Claw 80 Floor. These are my patrons slash YouTube members. If you'd like to become a patron or YouTube member, get access to a whole bunch of different perks, and please check out the links in the description box below. But alright, this is Riders, riding out.